Hey guys, it's Emily, and today I'm going to be doing kind of a hits or miss type video. Um, so I'm going to be talking about um, some products that I bought because they were meant to do a certain thing and then just didn't work out. And then I'm going to be talking about products that were meant to do kind of the same thing that I actually love. Um, so yeah, so the hits are the ones that I love, and then the misses are the ones that I don't, obviously. And by the way, if you see anything moving behind me, it's my dogs. You know what? I'm just going to introduce them to you right now, um, just because you'll, I think I had them in the back of my video one time, and <laughs> I noticed after I filmed, and it was so hilarious. Anyway, I'm just going to tell you who they are. So this white fluffy guy right here, this is Kirby. Um, Kirby, can you see? Can you look? Look at the camera. <laughs> um, and his name is Kirby, and he's turning away right now. Anyway, and then this one way back here, the black and white one, this is Mojo, and yes, they do wear diapers, by the way, um, don't ask, I mean, long story, anyway, um, so those are the ones that are moving around behind me, hopefully they'll just be sleeping through this video so there aren't too much of a distraction. Alright, so I'm going to start out with, um, a foundation that I bought because I have dry, very dry skin and I like my skin to look a little bit glowier and everything. So um, I bought this Revlon Photo Ready foundation because it was meant to give you kind of a, um, it was meant to have some shimmer in it to just give you like a more glowy finish, you know, obviously. And I bought this and honestly it's not shimmer, it's not glowy, it's straight up chunks of glitter inside of it. And like I said, I have very dry skin and the glitter just kind of stuck to it and made it look drier and it was just the opposite of like what I wanted it to do. It was not good at all and no, this just straight up no. Okay, and then um, this foundation I absolutely love and it gives me the luminous um, glowy finish that I wanted with the Revlon and this is by L'Oreal and it's the L'Oreal True Match Lumi foundation and I love this. It does not have glitter or shimmer. It's just, it just gives you a very, well, luminous, like it says Lumi finish and um, you know, it's very, it's a lot more natural than the other one is. Um, it doesn't stick to my dry skin and make it look drier. It makes it look just healthy and, um, like it has enough moisture and everything. Okay, so the next is a blush that I was really excited to buy when I got it because, um, it was getting so many reviews and everything. It was just kind of a fun product, and it's the Maybelline Dream Bouncy Blush. And this did nothing at all. Um, it looks like I used it a ton, but this was after one like trying to use it like one time trying to use it because I kept digging my finger in there trying to get any color at all and it could I couldn't get any any color payoff at all um this was in or or orchid hush and um I you I tried using it that one time and that was it I haven't touched it since it's really terrible um it's not even bouncy like it really isn't it's just kind of squishy it doesn't bounce back or anything um, really, it's just not good. But a cream blush that I do really like, it's by NYX, and it's the NYX Stick Blush. This one is in the shade Tulip, and um, this just, it's a creamy texture, and it gives really good color payoff. Um, it lasts a long time, I don't know. Um, this is just great. It, this, I think it was just so popular because it said it was bouncy, and everyone's like, how could, how could it be bouncy? Like, you know, but yeah, no. Um, okay, so the next thing I'm going to talk about is a cream eyeshadow palette. And these were really popular um, a couple years ago. It's the Revlon Cream Blush, not Cream Blush. What are these called? Cream Eyeshadow Quad. And obviously, I mean, I did use these two lighter colors. But that's only because I used those on my lid. I didn't even try to use the darker colors in my crease because um, even the ones that I put on my lid, I had to use a primer underneath and then a powder on top just so it would last longer. And so I figured if I was to put a color in my crease, like, it would just basically ruin my eyeshadow. Like, I'd be much better off with just a primer and the powder eyeshadow that I'd be putting over it. So, um, don't really love these. I mean... The ones from my lid were okay, but I wouldn't repurchase it. But some cream eyeshadows that I love are by Maybelline, and they're the color tattoo. I just picked out some of the neutral color ones. I have almost every color, except for, like, the bright blue ones, only because I wouldn't have a purpose to buy those. Like, I wouldn't be able to wear them. Um, but um, my favorites are Barely Beige and then um, 
bad to the bronze. This one's in bold gold. I don't use it all that often, but um, one of my favorite things to do when I'm like running really late for my eyeshadow look is to wear bad to the bronze just on my lid and my crease and just put some um, white shadow under my brow bone and on my inner corner and it looks like I spent like 20 minutes doing my eyeshadow but really it it took me two seconds like just swiping it on you don't need a primer underneath you don't need a powder on top they last all day they're amazing okay so the next thing I'm going to be talking about is a mascara and honestly I wasn't I didn't have huge high hopes for this mascara because I didn't really see anything about it um I just picked it up when I was at the drugstore one time and it's the Rimmel Sexy Curves Volume Mascara <laughs> this really just did nothing for my lashes it just kind of put product on there and clumped it up it didn't lengthen it didn't volumize it didn't really even curl like the Sexy Curves brand is meant to do <laughs> and um it was just basically it felt like I was just putting goop on my eyelashes and it wasn't doing anything um but a mascara that I really like for all purposes I think it does it's just a great all-around mascara for length curl and volume and it's the falsies flared mascara by Maybelline um this is one of my like just go-to mascaras um I've repurchased it repurchased it like three times already it's just great um very good for anything that you'd want a mascara to do Okay, so the last thing I'm going to be talking about is a liquid eyeliner, and really this was pretty inexpensive, so it's no big deal that it didn't work, but um, the days that I spent trying to get it off my lashes kind of sucked, um, but it's the Wet n Wild H2O Proof Liquid Eyeliner, and this is most definitely waterproof. It's probably the most waterproof eyeliner out there, honestly, like, I've put it on the back of my hand before, and it does not, like, I wash my hands more than anybody seriously ask anybody and my hands are so dry because I just soap and soap and soap and wash and wash and wash and everything um and this will take like three days to come off no matter how many times I wash my hands and um when you're putting it on it's the kind that you like dip into the little pot and when you put it on it clumps all your eyelashes together and then it dries really fast and so it's almost and then you it's just it it doesn't well, it doesn't make anything look good, so it makes your lashes look terrible because you can't get them unclumped, and you can't put your mascara on, and it hurts when you try to take this off with makeup remover, and it's just not good. Um, but some, I have two liquid eyeliners that I would recommend to anybody. I think they are, they are my absolute favorites, and they're both in the pen form. I think just the fact that they're a pen is so much better because they can't, they won't clump up your eyelashes. There's not a bunch of extra product on the you know wand or whatever it just comes right out of the felt tip where you're putting it and it's the two I'm going to talk about is the Revlon Colorstay liquid eye pen and the Maybelline Master Precise by Eye Studio um the Colorstay lasts a really long time it doesn't come off until you try to take it off with a makeup remover and then this one um I mean I guess it does the same thing I knew do notice a little bit of fading by the end of the day but nothing major um I really like these two um this Revlon Colorstay literally like I've had this for maybe like a year and I went and bought a different one you know because um I didn't want to get an eye infection <laughs> um but it's I mean even if I were to still use it you know like here's the second one right there like it's still totally dark and black and everything um, so this one lasts a really long time if you're not into buying new eyeliners all the time. Um, but yes, those were my last things to talk about. Um, so definitely, I definitely recommend all the products that I talked nicely about in this video. Um, honestly, stay kind of, I'd recommend staying away from the products that I really didn't like. Um, I don't know. In the comments, let me know some products that you absolutely hate from the drugstore because I... <laughs> I get disappointed when I go and buy a new product and then I just don't like it because then I'm like, well, now I don't have a new product to use. <laughs> um, so I guess I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.